Hello everyone, this is Yaz and welcome to my channel. Today I have another decluttering session for you all and today we are tackling my eyeshadow collection. Um, this is definitely one of those sessions that makes me a little bit nervous. I have tons of eyeshadow and I love eyeshadow. I feel like playing up the eyes and the lips is probably my... I'm lying. I like the... Che I love doing the cheeks as well. But there's something about playing up the eyes and the lips that I love. Um, and when I do something completely neutral with the rest of my face, sometimes those are, the, those are usually the two areas where I'll decide to really give um, a, a bit of drama and pop on my face. So um, we're going to try to get through this process as painless as possible, but I feel like there's a lot that I don't want to let go of. And I know off the top of my head there's a lot that I can let go of, but I have so many and it's so cluttered and I end up reaching for the same things over and over because it's right there and it's easy and I don't have to go looking for anything. So the goal is to declutter and get rid of some of the um, clutter that I have so I can see the things that I have and use those things that I have that I love and that I appreciate. So let's get started. So here you are. Here is my entire eyeshadow collection. This is everything that I own and I almost am completely overwhelmed because I have a lot of stuff that I really like that I only get to use like maybe a couple times a year. Um, and I really like it and I feel like I should be using those things a little bit more often but because I have so many things and I, I, I just I have so many things I just can't use the things that I like on a more um, frequent basis because I don't want to feel like I'm completely neglecting other things that I've purchased or spent my money on or that was gifted to me. Um, but today, yeah, we're gonna pretty much end that. So I've kind of already started sort of going through everything and I've already decided on a lot of the things I'm gonna get rid of. So, um, just because, in, you know, for the interest of time, like I said, it's a lot of stuff here and I don't want to feel like we're here for two hours decluttering. So I kind of decluttered already and kind of this is the end result. So first up, I have this Z palette right here. Um, I love Z palettes. I have a few of them. I think they're great for depotting um, eyeshadows, blushes, anything like that. And as you can see, this one I, is uh, an array of shadows. I've decluttered quite a few palettes, some Wet n Wild stuff, some... Where else is this from? I think some of the um, Physicians Formula shadows. I have some NYX shadows. I have some other ones I'm not sure where they're from, from NYX. So I have quite an array of eyeshadows in here and I'm getting rid of all of this. Um, a lot of these are just shadows I don't use at all anymore. Um, and some of them, as you can see, I hit pan on this one here. On a few of them I hit pan and I use them a lot, but I have other ones that are even a, a better quality. Like these are pretty much all drugstore. I have ones that are much better quality or similar colors that I should be using. So I use some of these a lot. I gave them some kind of use. I'm going to get rid of all of these. I might use this Z palette for other shadows so that I can sort of consolidate my collection even more. So I'm getting rid of the shadows, but of course not the Z palette. These are staying in my collection. I love these. These are the... Maybe I should zoom you guys in a little bit more, huh? So I just zoomed you guys in a little bit. So hopefully you can see a little bit better. But these are the Lorac, I think they're called Luster. Yeah, 3D Luster Drops. Or 3D Liquid Luster. Um, and I got these in a set from Kohl's last Christmas. I don't use these as that often because they are really so shimmery. And like eyeshadow toppers, great for going out. Um, but I think because of the holidays coming up, I'll be able to get a lot of use out of these. I'm going to keep them around. I kind of like all of the colors on their own. So I've had them for a year. I've only used them probably a handful of times, if that. But... The consistency is still really good. I used them recently just to make sure and um, I just, I, I don't want to part with them. So these I'm going to keep. This is a recent purchase. So I'm not getting rid of these, of these shadows. This is one of the Makeup Forever trios that you can purchase. Well, the palette, you can purchase the, the palette to hold any three shadows and then you pick the shadows that you want inside. So these are just perfect. Like this is like an everyday eye for me and these shadows are huge. I've used this probably a handful of times. I purchased this this year, so I don't feel too bad that I've only used it a handful of times already. So that's going to stay for sure. Um, I have this e.l.f. Jumbo Eyeshadow Stick. I used it a lot um, when I first got it. And it's a nice like shimmery base to use. But it's just, I don't find myself going for it. I used it recently. I wasn't crazy about it. It's going to go in the trash. This is from NYC and it is their Sparkle Eye Dust. <clears throat> and if I remember correctly, this is a little messy. So it's kind of like, 
it has a doe foot. I don't want to take it out because it's a little bit messy and I just got some on me. But this has a doe foot applicator and it's like a loose, creamy pigment, I guess. Um, it does come out loose. It can be a little bit messy. And the blue is beautiful, but I just I, I just don't use it. I don't like the applicator. I don't like the application. I just, I don't gravitate towards this. This is a similar product. This one's from Pixie. I don't think this one was messy, though. Yep, this one was messy, actually, now that I think about it. Um, so, yeah, it's a similar product. It's the Pixie Brightening Bare Berry Dust. Um, I tried it a couple of times. It's just, it's really messy, the application. It's like a loose powder kind of thing, and I just, I don't like it in this sort of packaging. So, I'm getting rid of that. This is one of the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania like loose pigments. This one's in charcoal pearl. I think I had gotten this from like an Ipsy bag or something. Um, some of these look really really nice. It depends on the color. They're powder. They're like a, a pigment. So I'm not crazy about it. Pigments aren't my favorite. But if I really really like the color then I'll be fine with it. But this one I, I just don't love. So I'm not going to keep this one around. This I also got I think in an Ipsy bag. This is from City Colors. They're white gold mousse eyeshadow and it's a loose formula I, I don't even want to open it um it's just i i wasn't crazy about the color or the consistency i didn't really like it you know what these i'm gonna keep these i got recently at a mac count at a mac store and i really like these i'm not a huge fan of pigments but these are really like this one's in the color vanilla this one's a beautiful color. This one's the name of the color is Rose. So if you ever see Rose, oh, it's so beautiful. And I think this one's naked. Yeah, this one's naked. Really pretty colors. I like these pigments. I don't like other types of pigments, but these I'm going to keep. So um, these aren't going anywhere. This is a loose pigment from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I don't love it, so I'm getting rid of it. I have those other pigments that I'm going to keep, so I'm good with those. This is another pigment that's going to be leaving. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments. This one's in the color Buff and Tough. I just thought it was going to be like a really nice everyday color, and it is, but I don't, I just don't gravitate towards this because it's a pigment. For me, I guess a pigment is more like a special occasion kind of a thing. I'm not going to use it on an everyday basis, so this just doesn't work out for me. So this is, I guess, kind of like a pigment. It's a pressed pigment. It's one of these L'Oreal Infallible um, pressed pigments. This one's in the color Golden Sage, a beautiful color, but... I just don't gravitate towards it much, so I just I don't want to keep it just because I think it's a nice color that I'm just not going to use that often. What's the point of keeping it, right? These are loose pigments, but I actually really like these. These are from e.l.f. Well, this one's from e.l.f. And this is in the color Celebrity. It's a gorgeous, really sparkly pigment. I love using this for like special occasions. I've had this one for years, and I've used it a few times, so I am going to keep this one around. And this one's from Micah Beauty in the color Earth. It's a really pretty pinkish shimmer. Um, loose pigment and I really like it. I don't use it that often, but I really li really like it and so because of that I want to hang on to it. Do I have any other loose pigments? Let's see. These, what to do? I think I'm going to get rid of these. These I ordered from Coastal Scents a few years ago. I used them once probably when I was like sort of like playing around with makeup. Um, and I think they're cool. I just don't really get use out of these. So I don't feel like I want to keep these. So these are like glitters. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, this one's luxury gold and this one's a mirage sapphire. They're just like glitters for your eyes. Really micro. Really micro. Um, I might keep these around to the end of the year. If I don't use them for the holidays, which is when I would use something like this, then I'll probably toss it then. For now, I'll kind of keep it around. This one, also from Coastal Scents, is a sparkling chrome glitter and it is really, really sparkly. Like, I don't know if you can... It is so super sparkly uh, and messy because it is completely... I must have had it upside down. Yes, I did. So it's a beautiful sparkle, but I don't use it often. So oh, I'm going to make a mess. A complete mess. I got that everywhere. Oh, all over the place. So... Oh my gosh. I think I have a little baggie here. Um... Like, can you see that? It's like all over my hands now. I feel like I want to keep it around, but honestly, this size glitter really makes me nervous. Like, I'm afraid it's going to get in my eyes. And I think these are like, these are supposed to be, like, these are okay to use in your eyes, I believe. But 
But seeing now how chunky they are, that makes me really, really nervous. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is one from Coastal Scents that I put in this little Bare Minerals container. I have a big, huge tub of it. Um, probably like a quarter full or a third full. This is a green sort of... Uh, it's an emerald green like glitter pigment. And I don't know if this one is more finely milled. Oh gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, it's really pretty. And I'm going to be a sucker right now and keep it, even though I probably should get rid of it. I'm going to keep it. I have a bunch of stuff in this top drawer of the Muji, so I kind of want to go through these. So I can put things back and have a little bit more space on this counter. Okay. This is a base. That's a base. This is another one from uh, Coastal Scents that I put in here and then come in this container. And it's like a white, it's like a white, silvery, sparkly one. Uh, since I'm getting rid of that other one, I, I guess I'll keep this one around for the holidays and kind of see what happens. We'll see. This is a beautiful, like, I think it's reminiscent to Blue Brown Pigment from MAC. This one's from, what's the name of this? Is it Prestige? Um, yes, Prestige Cosmetics. It's one of their Total Intensity Shadows. This one's in the color... This one's in the color Hocus Pocus. And it's just a really pretty, like, dual chrome effect. I love it. This one's definitely sticking around. That's not going anywhere. This is one of the L'Oreal Infallibles. This one I'll keep. This one's in the color Amber Rush, is it? Yes, Amber Rush. And I, I've used this quite a few times. I really do like it. So that one I'll, I'll keep. This is a hard candy eyeshadow that I purchased this year. It's really sparkly. It's in the color Infatuation. I don't know if I really liked it. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one as well because it just, I don't like the way it applies. I remember when I first used it, I felt the same way. I um, mean, I think I maybe wanted to keep it around and give it another try, but it's just, it's a little bit uh, chunky when you use it. It's almost like a pressed pigment, I feel like, but when you, the application of it just doesn't work for me. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art, sort of like two in one. This is like a really nice cream base. This is a green, a uh, nice green color I really like it and then it has this gold liner on this end that you can use as a liner you can use it all over the lid if you want a really sparkly look and it's the only one that I have so I'm gonna keep it this is another pigment from Coastal Scents in uh, uh, it's not even a pigment it, it is a glitter in the color gold medallion and I love a gold but this glitter is pretty chunky and now that I look at it I'm it makes me nervous as I'm gonna get in my eyes I often wear contacts when I wear like really dramatic looks to go out and I would hate to tear an expensive contact because I got a piece of glitter in my eye. So this is just going to go. It has to go. I, I can't keep that one around. These are little singles from the bomb that I probably got in like Ipsy bags. Or maybe even from Birchbox. I'm not sure. This one's from the Meat Matte Palette. This is Matte Batali. I love the bomb products. So these are definitely going to stay around. These aren't going anywhere. This one's from the Naked the nude dude palette and this one's in the color fit beautiful color and this one i have as a blush because it's technically a blush that you can also use as a highlighter it's the hot mama blush really love it definitely gonna keep that one around i have some singles i can get rid of since we seem to be working on singles this is from pacifica in the color treasure or natural beauty i guess it's treasure and it's it's pretty. I used it a couple of times. I just, I don't love it. I mean, it's nice, but it's not something I will use often, so I'm getting rid of that one. Oh, this is another pigment. This is another one of those Maybelline pigments. This one's in the color Forest Fatal. I just don't like it. I love green on my eyes, but that one, I just, oof, I don't like it that much. So I have these singles here, which I'm going to keep for sure. These first three are from MAC. This one's in the color Saddle. I know a lot of people like that color and have it. It's really great. I love it. This one's in the colors of vanilla, uh, nylon. Another pretty famous color from MAC. That's going to stay. And then this last one is in the color wedge. So these three are definitely staying um, in my collection. This one's from Stila. It's a little sort of like deluxe size, travel size. I got this in a kit, like two, three pieces in a kit. Um, this is a little size of their kitten shadow, which is probably one of their most famous shadows. I really like it. I use it a lot, so I'm going to keep that one for sure. Uh, this is another pigment. This one's going to go. This is from, this one's from Bella Tierra Mineral Shimmer in the color Emotion. It's purple, which I love, of course, on my brown eyes. 
but I just I'm not crazy about the application and it's just it's really messy and I don't like the color enough for it so that's gonna go um, you know what we can get rid of these this is from Pacifica it's like a little bronzy shadow bronzing like highlighting duo I used it as a shadow I don't know if it was meant to be but it's dual number one as a bronzy shade or like a champagne shade I just I don't like it that much it's not it's just not for me so that's gonna go this one's from elf this is one of their big shadows that I used to use a lot I've had this for years and this is in burnt plum beautiful plummy color but I just I don't use it anymore so I'm gonna get rid of it they're not the best quality shadows, so I don't feel bad getting rid of those um, and this one's from Ulta. It's one of their like glitter top coats in the color Gold Digger. It's really messy. I don't want to open it, but it was something that I wanted to try. I don't like it. Okay, so let's do, I guess, some of the smaller like palettes, like trios and quads and duos and stuff. So here I have one from Physicians Formula. This is the um, classic nudes quad. It's actually missing one because I think I had depotted it and put it in that Z palette that I'm getting rid of, as well as with that Canyon Classics one that I loved. Um, so it's not there anymore, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's from Pop Beauty. It's a trio called Naturally Bare. I think I also got this in an Ipsy bag. I did use it for a while. I used it probably pretty consistently for like a course of a week to really give it a try. I just, I wasn't crazy about it. My hands are so dirty from these shadows. I'm sorry, guys. Some of them have like broken and like have gotten so messy, which is why I'm getting rid of them. But it looks so bad. I feel like my hands look like dirty, like worksman type of uh, hands. Like I've been doing construction or working in earth. So I'm going to try to wipe it clean a little bit, but I definitely need soap and water. Okay, so this is a Wet n Wild. This is a Wet n Wild trio in Spoiled Army Brat. I love the Wet n Wild trios. This is just a pinkish like trio I don't really tend to wear a lot of pink colors on my lid I'm actually keeping something else that has a lot of like pinks and mobs in it so I'm just gonna get rid of this one these are the trios. The, this one's also gonna go it's another wet and wild uh, trio in the and the name of it is sweet as candy it was nice and I did get some use out of it but I it's one of the ones that I am least grab that I least gravitate to and I use least often so I'm gonna get rid of it I don't want to keep stuff just keep it this one's from BH cosmetics I don't know if I purchased something from them or I think I got this in an ipsy bag I don't think I have anything from BH um, and it came with three little shadows I believe this is like a much bigger palette so it just came with three shadows from that palette and all of these I had already looked through and I know I want to keep so I'm just gonna briefly show you what they are and these are all like wet and wild. Well, mostly wet and wild. I have the NYX one in here. This one's from NYX. I got an Ipsy bag recently. I guess it was a collaboration with them. Uh, the name of it, I guess, is Ipsy. And the colors are really, really nice. And I like some of these um, quad uh, trios and quads that NYX puts out. And this one's actually really nice. Oh, really nice for every day, but you can even smoke it out for like a more dramatic look. So I'm going to keep that one around. These are from Wet n Wild. I got Knock on Wood. I really like that one. That one's going to stay. Walking on Eggshells. Another good one. Silent Treatment. like that one. Enlisting for Beauty. Um, this is one of their quads. Is it quads? No. Quintense? I don't even know. This is their five, one of their five eyeshadow palettes in The Naked Truth. A really good one. I like that one a lot. And this one, and this one's in Melrose Place. Another good one. Um, this is a backup that I have of Enlisting for Beauty. And I am going to keep it around because I do like that quad a lot. I haven't used it much recently, but it's one that's like perfect for every day. So I really do like it. I'm going to keep this backup. Actually, let's go do this Z palette because I have some backups for some of these as well that I'm going to keep. This is the NYX Shadow. You know what? I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't really like this one that much. So that one can go. Um, the rest of these are, yeah, Wet n Wild, like, singles. This one's um, Creme Brulee, Nutty, I think Envy, and Panther. So I have backups for all of those, except the Envy color. Um, I have one backup of Panther, keeping that. One backup of Nutty, it's a beautiful taupey color. And then three of Creme Brulee, because at some point they said that we're getting rid of them. And I don't know if they did, but 
I bought backups just in case. Those are sticking around. We're making headway for sure. This one, I, this is a cream product that I absolutely love. It's a deluxe sample though from Bare Minerals. I think I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's one of their cream shadows. Really like it. Keeping that one for sure. This is a small Smashbox trio that I think I got from like a like a little set. Really pretty colors. Perfect for every day. Love that. And my go-to look on an average, on a daily basis, is like a natural look. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure like mini palette. I really like Smashbox shadows, so this one's going to stick around. This is from NYX in the color... In it's the quad that's called Eat Love Be Fab. Nice color is gonna keep this one. Another one of the NYX palettes. I really like these. This is in Parisian Chic. Parisian Chic. <laughs> um, just really pretty everyday and even dramatic, like smoky looks that you can create with those. So I like it. This is another NYX eyeshadow trio in Voodoo Love Spells. And now that I look at it, these colors are just way too like cool for me like I wouldn't I don't gravitate towards this one at all because of the colors so I'm gonna get rid of that one and this one I do like this one's in Cabana Boy beautiful for every day even for more dramatic looks this is one of their 10 color eyeshadow palettes this one's in Caviar and Bubbles I think it was called Champagne and Bubbles before that um, this one I've had for a long time. I really like it. That one's not going to go anywhere. I have a few little palettes of things that can go. This one's from Wet n Wild and the name of the palette is Vinyl Collection. I just don't like it. I've used quite a bit this white sort of creme brulee shade. I used a lot and I found that I was really keeping it just to use that. When I have creme brulee, so I don't need to keep it just for that. So that one's going to go. This is a... These shadows are not from MAC, but it's in a MAC quad. I think these are all actually from NYX. Yes, these were all from NYX, I believe. I'm going to get rid of them. I don't like it, but I am going to save the palette. We go to the next drawer. Why not? There's not so many. This is my NYX Butt Naked Eye Palette. It is much deeper than this. It's like I only have like half of the palette because I got, I got rid of the portion that had like the blushes and bronzers because I used a lot of them up a lot. And I didn't want to keep them anymore just to keep the shadows. I like these NYX shadows, so these I'm going to keep because um, I do like this palette has a really nice range of colors. Oh, I have another one of these L'Oreal Infallibles in Gold Imperial. Beautiful gold shade. So, I'm going to keep that one. I have the Naked Decay um, Naked Basics palette. This is the first one. I didn't get the, the second one because I felt like that one's just much better for me. Another NYX palette in Mercy Boku. Pretty nice one. I like it. I'm going to keep that one around. A couple of years ago, I had created an Inglot palette. And I love these Inglot palettes. They're like They're awesome. Um, they come with all sorts of different slots for different numbers of eyeshadows, blushes, concealers, what have you. And these colors I just don't like. I don't use them. Even when I even when I just used this palette, I wasn't gravitating towards these colors. So I'm getting rid of these colors. I'm going to keep the palette because in the future if I want to create a different kind of palette, I have this at least. So I'm not going to get rid of that, but I am going to get rid of the shadows. And what I've decided to do was to keep the Inglot shadows that I did want to keep in this palette that I was sort of building with some other products I didn't want to get rid of. So these are the Inglot shadows from that palette that I'm keeping and these down here were from an Urban Decay palette. I think it was the... was it called the Vegan palette? It was the one with all the animals on it and it was talking about like, you know, conserving animals and whatnot. So I depotted them because it's a really thick palette and I put them in here. So I have plenty of space for more shadows that I might end up depotting along with the other Z palette that I have. So my eyeshadow collection should be looking much better in the near future. Okay, so down here we have, this is a small Lorac palette. I think I got this at like, uh, was it TJ Maxx? Or oh, Nordstrom Rack, I think it was. Yeah, I think I got this at Nordstrom Rack. It's a really nice set of shadows. I really like it. I like the Lorac palette, the Lorac shadows, so I'm going to keep it. This one's in the color Uptown Allure. I know they have a bunch of different ones like this that come in like this similar packaging. Really small, great for traveling. I love that one. This is NARS Key Largo. It's a nice duo. I like it. Um, it's great for like a look. Just be You can totally use just these two for a look. So I really like these. And the quality is just amazing. This one's from... This is a duo from Tara Tarantino. I'm not sure this is supposed to be like a bronzy um, highlighter like duo. But I use it only for shadows. I don't use this on my face. 
really pretty. You could probably use the highlighter on your face. Um, I just don't really ever do that. I might have done that once just to kind of check it out. But I tend to use this as a eyeshadow duo. This is in the color. This is the Eye Dream Highlight Duo. So maybe it is a highlighter. Well, I use it as shadow. Alright, we got some colored tattoos and some cream products. I'm going to go through them now so we can get rid of them. This one's from e.l.f. in the color Ocean Bound. I just didn't like the consistency. This one is from... Oh, I don't remember. I can't even read the name. But it's it's one that comes like with a doe foot applicator. I got it in a nipsy bag. Don't like it. Not keeping it. These are... Oh, this is another one from e.l.f. in Back to Basics. It's a nice gold color. I just don't like the consistency. I much prefer my color tattoos. Um, these color tattoos I'm going to get rid of. And these color tattoos are going to stay. So I'm getting rid of... Oh, I'm getting rid of five and I'm keeping five. So I'm okay with that. I have... Um, Barely Branded. This one's going to go... This is Electronic Blue or Electric Blue. That's going to go... Tough Fast Taupe. That's going to go... Um, seashore Frost and mossy green and for the most part these are leaving because oops, for the most part these are leaving because um they've dried up i've used a lot of them but they've dried up so i can't use them anymore and the ones that are staying i have this black one what is this in dramatic black great for a smoky base this one is bad to the bronze this is probably my og maybe in tattoo i love that one i'll always probably have one of those this is Creamy Beige, another great base to use on, with any kind of color. This is a pinkish one. It's inked in pink. I just really like the look of it over certain types of shadows. So I'm going to keep that one around. And then this one is in Pomegranate Punk. Uh, I think this one and... What is it? Barely... What was it called? This one and Bad to the Bronze were like my OG Maybelline tattoos. And then the rest came. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to keep those for sure. Oh wait, I have more Maybelline tattoo color tattoos I'm getting rid of. Okay, so my bad. I'm not getting rid of five and keeping five. I'm actually keeping eight, but whatever. Um, I'm actually keeping six and getting rid of seven. Sounds even better. These two I'm getting rid of. This is in Creamy Beige. I use that one a lot. It's completely dried up now. And Audacious Asphalt. I like the Maybelline color tattoos. I just think that I need to get rid of those another one that's stain is rich mahogany i really like this color a lot okay so those are the items in my muji drawer that are stain let's get let's go through these like singles that are leaving this is from elizabeth and mott oh, why is everything so dirty jeez all right so this is like a shadow stick from elizabeth and mott in the color pearl i don't like it get rid of it Another thing I got through Ipsy, so I have Ipsy to thank for that. This is a this is a NYX single that I think I also got through Ipsy. Cause I, this is definitely something I would have purchased for myself. It's called Deep Charcoal. Great for a smoky eye if you like these type of colors. I just don't gravitate towards these, so I'm getting rid of it. Uh, this is from, yes, Jessie's Girl, another Ipsy find. It's beautiful, but it's just not something I would use. I don't like the way it looks. It's not so pigmented on the eyes. This is a loose pigment from Micah Beauty Cosmetics. In, it's a shimmer powder called Bronze. I like it as a shadow, and that's how I was using it. But I don't like it enough to keep it. This is a Essence 3D Eyeshadow in Irresistible Caramel Cream. It's a gorgeous sort of little duo. i just not crazy about the pigmentation. But I did like it like the week that I used it. And then I realized, wait, the pigmentation is just not there. They're pretty colors, just the pigmentation is not there. Maybe we can talk about some of the smaller palettes that I'm... Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep these around. For sure, I cannot get rid of any of these. This I won. Um, it's one of the few things I won on YouTube entering like those little cons. I, I want to keep this because I feel like you know someone gifted it to me, and I do like it. I do like it. It's one of these like, oops. it's one of these sort of palettes that comes with multiple products. This was a lip gloss which I used a lot, but I found that my shadows and bronzer and highlighter were getting stuck in it. So whatever little bit I had left, I just cleaned up after a while after using it for a bit. I love that bronzer. That highlighter is not my favorite, but I have used it a couple of times. These shadows are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to keep this one around. And by the way, it's called Glamour 
to go. It's a perfect little palette to have. This one's the Benefit Big Beautiful Eyes palette. And it's actually more of a kit than a palette. You have this like creamy base concealer type product here, which is awesome. It hasn't dried out, so I'm going to keep using it. You have little tools here, which I don't use, but I keep it in the palette. And then these eyeshadows, perfect for creating an everyday look. And the quality is just, it's spot on. It lasts all day. I really like this. Definitely not going to get rid of it. This is the Too Faced Boudoir Eyes palette. Another favorite. I love Too Faced shadows. They're one of my favorites. Um, just gorgeous. I can't get rid of that. Come on now. This is, and I love the Too Faced palettes and the tins. This is the Natural Matte palette. Absolutely gorgeous. I got four minutes. Let's see if we can do this. This is one of the Urban Decay palettes. I forget the name of it, but it's gorgeous. I love it. And the quality is just there, so I can't get rid of it. These are the Old School Too Faced palettes. This is the Natural at Night. And I originally picked this one up because my uh, the lady, the girl that did my makeup for my wedding used some of the shadows in here for my eyes. And I absolutely loved it. And it's a great palette for sure. This is the Naked Eye palette. Perfect for every day. Oh, love those. So those have to stay. I could never, I could never part with those. Ever, ever, ever. Um, I guess now we have left just a big palette. I have all of the naked palettes from Urban Decay. The only one I don't have is a smoky palette. But I'm not sure if that's a naked palette. I have all of the naked palettes from Urban Decay. I have one, two, and three. Definitely not getting rid of those. Absolutely not. Um, I have this palette from MAC that I entered, that I put all these shadows in. I like these. I think I think I'm gonna get a bit of few of these. Like this one's gonna go, and I think the ones in the bottom row, except this um, plummy color, are gonna go. This is all that glitters from Mac, and I love it. That's gonna stay. That's an Inglot one. I love that. That's gonna stay. So some of these I'm gonna take out of here for sure. I have these palettes. I'm gonna get rid of. This is the Ulta Beauty in Bloom. They have beautiful colors, but they're beautiful colors, but I just don't use it. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the NYX Nude on Nude. This is another great palette. You have all these lip products down here. Then up here you have all of these shadows. Um, gorgeous. Great for if you're on a budget, but I'm just not going to keep it around. This is one of the Hard Candy palettes, the Natural Eyes palettes, palette. Um, nice, but I'm just not going to keep it. This is the uh, Coastal Sense. Yes, Coastal Sense Ultimate 252 palette. There are three trays like that with tons of color. Any color you want, it's there. So it's great for that, but I just, it's too much for me. I got the Lorac Pro 2 and 1. Both are going to stay. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, which I love. I love this palette, so that's got to stay for sure. I have the Too Faced Love Sephora palette. Gorgeous. That's going to stay. I also have the new, I also have the new dude from the bomb, as well as uh, the nude Tude palette from the bomb and I have a backup keeping those for sure so thank you so much for watching I really do appreciate it I hope you enjoyed this decluttering session and if you did please give my video a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it thanks again and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys